All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Baha Shum, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shum, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone that taught us this truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Baha Shum is in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ and Jehovah, the Rakak Wadash, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother Iwa Lummi with the GMS Chicago branch. I'm here in Chicago, come back at you with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope this lesson be edified to whoever may reach. You know, I'm just basically entitled this lesson, you know, uh, blinded, you know, blinded to the truth, you know, because two thirds of our people are blinded for the, uh, blinded from the truth, you know, and I, uh, got the spirit to do this lesson, you know, because I have a lot of things, you know, saved in my gallery, you know, just in case, you know, uh, future lessons, you know, through the spirit, you know, uh, that I wanted to do, but never got around to doing it. As you can see, uh, see right here so from the brother's channel, endure these last days to Ba. It says Shalom, trying to get Jake to hear the word. And the picture that you see is Jake, you know, the ear of a Jake. And and the, uh, and the side of the ear of a Jake is like a brick wall. Yeah, because what? Meaning what? That every time Jake tries to get, uh, tries, you know, to, you know, to try to hit a word, <laughs> they can't get it, you know, because ultimately it's not for two thirds of our people to get, you know, that's why a lot of our people are blinded. And, you know, this is all about design from you. How about Shimmy Shai? You know, it bounces off them. You know, they can't receive this word, you know? And like I said, this is all about design from you. How about Shimmy Shai? You know, it goes, you know, it goes through one end out the other, you know? But let's just get into the precepts. This is the book of Romans 11. And um, let's start down. Romans 11 and 7. It says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And what is Israel trying to obtain? What are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans trying to obtain? The truth. But ultimately, they can't obtain it. Because what? They're blinded by the ways of this world, whether it be other ide uh, ideologies, whether it be their own, you know, uh, foolish way of thinking, you know, whether it be, uh, you know, these different religions and things of that nature. It says, what then Israel have not attained that which he seek for, which ultimately what JC for the truth. It says, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, right? Because ultimately it is for the elect, the 144,000 and the one third, which is the innumerable multitude, which is, destined to, uh, which is destined to receive this word, you know? And the rest were blinded. Who were blinded? Two thirds of our own people, you know? Verse eight, according as it is written, Yahweh hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day, right? They don't have the understanding, you know, to basically to discern or to, you know, to gain the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of what's going on, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, you know, the Lord has put a deep sleep upon our people. That's why a lot of our people, you know, consider themselves what a lot of our people is involved in athe uh, being, uh, as being atheists. A lot of our people are, are in the uh, Christian church. A lot of our people serve Buddha. A lot of our people are Muslims, you know, you know, so a lot of our people don't have the understanding. It says, verse 9, it says, And David said, Let their table be made a snare, and they trap and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back all the way. Right, so basically, how about Shemiah Shai is blind to two-thirds of our people from receiving this? You know, even David put up that prayer, you know, for, uh, for you niggas not to get it. You know? Because a lot of our, you know, a lot of our people are wicked. You know, because these are the same ones that crucified Yahweh Shai and said, what? You know, let the blood be upon us and our children, you know? So what? The Lord has blinded them because, well, ultimately the Lord doesn't want to heal them. And since I said that, you know, uh, I can actually get this. This is the book of Matthew 13 to 14. Let me see. Uh, Con. This is the book of Matthew 13, uh, Matthew 13 and 14. It says, And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and not perceive. Right? What I read in that Romans, uh, the 11th chapter. You know, I believe starting at verse 7. Uh, verse Also in verse 8 and 9, you know. Our people are blinded. They can't receive the truth. And going back to the, uh, to the picture I had in my gallery of that brick wall inside that Jake's ear, you know, you can you can get Jake's uh, Jake a million uh, a million precepts on a certain topic, but they still won't get it. You know, the MOTB, they won't get it. You know, you know, even as something that's playing that's you know, telling our people that they're the Israelites. A lot of our people can't get it. You know, they they brush it off to the side. You know, they they consider themselves what they are that, you know, they keep their titles that the so-called white man give uh, has gave them, whether it be a, a so-called Mexican, 
whether it be a so-called African-American, you know, whether it be a so-called Native American, you know, our people, you know, or rather, you know, um, you know, side with the with the with the um, with the bad words that, you know, that, that our oppressors gave them, you know, but as simple as telling our people that they're Israelites, they can't even get that. You know, they don't have to understand it. The Lord has blocked them from getting the understanding. Let's get verse 14. So like it, verse 15, it says, for this people's heart, which is your mind, it's wax gross. I believe, uh, which goes back to the word lob, lob which, uh, which, which is your mind. For this people's heart, which is your mind, is wax gross, and their ears are dull, uh, are dull of hearing, and their, uh, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they shall see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and shall understand with their heart, which is your mind. And shall be converted, and I shall heal them, because ultimately, how about Shimei Oshai doesn't want to heal two thirds of our people? You know, the Lord doesn't deal with quantity; the Lord deals with quality. The Lord doesn't want all Israel. The Lord wants His remnant. The Lord wants His great. The Lord wants His elect. The Lord wants His elect to get the understanding. The Lord doesn't want two thirds of our people to get the understanding. You know. But let's continue. Let's see. Um, this is the book of Proverbs 21 and 16. It says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And right, what is the congregation of the dead? What we see right now, a lot of our people in that dead mass, uh, ma uh, mindset, you know, thinking, you know, uh, a lot of our people being in, in, involved in the Christian church, a lot of our people, you know, involved in a lot of these different um, um, ideologies, philosophies, you know, and a lot of our people wonder if out of the way of understanding, you know, we try to give our people understanding, but what's I read back in the, the Romans 11, you know, the Isaiah, you know, a lot of our people was, is blinded from getting this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. So what? They're in the congregation of the dead, you know, and you can read about that in uh, Revelation the 11 chapter. Also, how it talks about our people being in a, in a spiritually dead, uh, being in that dead, you know, that spiritually, uh, you know, dead mindset, you know, not knowing, you know, not knowing what's going on. You know, that's a, another lesson for another day, Lord willing. But, um, yeah, a lot of our people is in that congregation of the dead. You know, they're, you know, they're one, they wonder if out the way of understanding, you know. <laughs> and I just mentioned it before, a lot of our people is in these other di uh, different uh, uh, philosophies, ideologies, ph uh, different things of that nature, you know. But let's continue. And call Allah, me how about Shemiah Osha? You know, we're not a part of that congregation of the dead. That the Lord doesn't put us back in, you know, in the con uh, 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 the congregation of the dead because we were once, you know, we were once, uh, you know, uh, blinded, you know, different things like that. But until the Lord gave us the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you know, so that's a blessing in itself. So this is the book of Psalm 69 and 22. It says, let their table become a snare before them and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Right. Meaning what? You know, for them not to get this truth, you know, because like I mentioned before, you know, um, yeah, how about Shemiah Shah doesn't want our people to get the truth. Verse 23, let their eyes be darkened that they see not and make their loins continue to uh, continually to shake. Right. So <laughs> a lot of our people has that darkened mindset. They can't look past, you know, what they <laughs> uh, what they're currently in right now. They can't look past that. A lot. Two thirds of our people can't look past the Christian church. You know, uh, um, two thirds of our people can't look past, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, being a Muslim. You know, that's that's what they believe in. You know, these are the things that, you know, you how about Shimei Osha, you know, uh, gave our people over to, you know, going back to what I said again, because what the Lord doesn't want our people to uh, two thirds of our people to be healed. You know, this is for the elect. This knowledge, wisdom and understanding is for the elect. This is the book of Matthew 13 and 9. It says, who have ears to hear, let them hear, meaning understanding. You know, who has the ears to understand, you know. Verse 10, is, it says, um, and the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? Parables are like dark sayings, you know. But let's continue. Verse 11, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Right, so only a remnant of individuals, you know, uh, 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 half the hundred percent true, you know, starting with our elders and our apostles on down, but the mass majority of our people, you know, two thirds make up 60, uh, 66.6, I believe 
you know, of the nation of Israel. Two thirds of our people do. And what? <laughs> um, they don't have the understanding, you know. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding was only given to a select few men, you know. It says, it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given, right? Referring to the rest of our people, two-thirds of our people, you know? So, huh, you you can beat, you know, uh, beat these niggas upside the head with the Bible all you want. They won't get it. You know, you can hit a nigga with 100,000 precepts, you know, pertaining to one topic that is very simple. You know, basically saying, you know, basically what? Who are the Israelites? You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the average nigga won't even get that, you know? It says, uh, Isaiah 69, it says, he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye, in, uh, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Verse 10, it says, make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed, right? Because ultimately, our people was out here lost, you know? And ultimately, how about Shimmy Abishai doesn't want two-thirds of our people to get this truth, and I'm going to keep saying it, you know? Because, you know, a lot of our people, you know, have that mentality, you know, talking about these other camps, you know, that they, you know, want to uh, uh, want to give it to all Israel. But at the end of the day, all Israel, you know, it's, uh, it's not going to get it, you know? All Israel... You know, uh, most of uh, most of our people, you know, are stuck in their ways, you know. Yeah, but that was pretty much the point, you know. Let me read verse 11 now. So Isaiah 6 and 11 says, Then said I, Lord, how long? He answered until the cities be wasted without inhabitant. It says, And the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate. Right? So our people, two-thirds of our people is going to be sleep. All the way up into the destruction of Babylon the Great, you know. So ultimately, you know, we're here for the elect at the end of the day. Two thirds of our people are destined for destruction, and two thirds of our people, you know, we're destined, you know, to be in that, you know, that darkened mindset, you know, that darkened mindset, you know. So ultimately, I hope, you know, um, yeah, that was pretty much the point, you know. Lord, one, I hope it was edifying. So I want to know about giving all praise and glory to you. How about Shemi? How about Shai? How about that bond to the elders and our apostles of great millstone that taught us this truth. Salutations to the hopefully like that's around the four corners of the globe. Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying until next time. Wah, a baba ball. Shalom.